Let's get this potential train wreck, potential bundle of uh, bundle of excitement underway. It can be both a train wreck and a bundle of excitement. It certainly can. So. The city of High Peak is a very varied place. It's kind of a kind of a nexus of a whole ton of trade routes. Airships stop here, rivers weave around the base of the uh, around the base of the hills on which the city sits. Uh, there's a sea not too far down that river that is accessible by sailboat up it. And also, it's actually quite popular for people to arrive by portal from places unknown and unheard of. It's a very, very busy city where you can literally find anything if you know the right people or have the right coin. Last night, however, you two were simply looking for a night off. You had, uh, you've recently come back into town with whatever with whatever haul you have from whatever you happened to be doing the last couple months and you found yourselves in a tavern where you were just trying to chill unfortunately a city this busy never has quiet nights there was a bar fight last night. Does anyone, would anyone like to volunteer as having thrown the first punch? I'll take it. <laughs> what did you get in a fight over and with whom? Hmm. Well, Bianca was probably already a little drunk. And all it would take is really a spill drink and the wrong word. Seems reasonable. This is where I say not again, isn't it? <laughs> Probably. So, Rule, how might you have gotten involved in the fight? Well, assuming at first that it's someone Bianca can handle on her own, probably would have had to have more people get involved. Oh, this this fight spread across the uh, spread across the tavern like a plague. It, uh, it it started in one corner and it reached the opposite side of the eighty foot hall within the minute. If you didn't well, if you didn't get involved on your own, it would have reached you somehow. Right, as it starts spreading rapidly, the rule would just go over. And try to help Bianca, well, mostly pull her off of whoever she's probably tackled and is punching in the face at the moment. And get out of there before anything that uh, could actually lose the money happens. <laughs> like, for example, paying for the damages. Whenever the bartender wakes up. Uh-huh. Well... You start your press through the uh, through the crowd when uh, when whistles start blowing near the door and a wave of uh, of city guard comes in swinging their truncheons every which way planning to sort it out later. And that's exactly what I was expecting would happen. Does either of you have any way to get out of a melee fast? Well, Bianca's uh, got a lot of acrobatics. <laughs> I have a flare cartridge. <laughs> Alrighty. Bianca, you first. How might you try to acrobatic your way out of this melee? Where there was uh, there was barely room to swing your elbows before the fight started, and now they're starting to be less. Hmm. Well, I presume she's nearish the bar. <laughs> Probably. So let's go for getting over that first. There's unlikely to be as many people behind the bar. Uh, 
After that, I assume the constables are coming in through the front. Uh, both the front doors, yep. Then, uh, where's the kitchen? Usually there's a way out near the kitchen. Uh, there is indeed, behind the bar. Alright, so let, let's go for trying to get over the bar and then, you know, dart for the back door. Alright, roll your acrobatic. That's a good roll. You effortlessly vault the bar, catch only one uh, broken bottle in the uh, in the back on your way over, and push through the uh, the, the the swinging uh, the swinging door into the kitchen. There is a large fireplace back here, and a just as large fire elemental stoking it. Well, on the plus side, I should be able to speak to it. Sarul. Yes. Bianca disappears over the counter, and the uh, the melee is starting to press your way, trying to back away from the wave of uh, of policemen who are swinging wildly. Well, I was already on my way towards Bianca, and if she gets out of my sight for too long, odds are something worse could happen. Though starting a bar fight that's already brought down the entire city guard on us doesn't get much worse, besides actually killing someone. Uh, hold on a second, I'm sneezing. Yep. I think I've sneezed five times so far. It'll all be out eventually. Maybe. Brain <laughs> just comes out. <laughs> How, How well, well lit is the bar? That problem? Pardon me? How well lit is the bar? Uh, it was better lit before someone started swinging from the chandelier. So is it dim? Yes. How many people are between me and the bar that she, and the bar that she leapt over and ran past? Roll me a d6. That many. Okay. Well, this rule is a sleuth. He gets daring deeds, just like the Bianca has, actually. So let's at least try to get past them first. Sure. Acrobatics, which doesn't actually come out to much, especially with the chain shirt, but I will roll, and then we'll see if it's uh, crappy or not. I thought I could add stuff to it if it is. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, do I want to add stuff to that? Let's see here. No, oh, yeah. that'll that'll stick. Okay. Uh, Trying you... to just shoulder past them in any way possible. Yep, yep. You push past the first one, duck under the legs of the other one as someone lifts him up and throws him over their shoulders. You, Lovely. You vault the next guy and cop the next one's bar stool straight in the face. Ugh. Lovely. Okay. Bianca. You are in the kitchen, and the, uh, and the, the, being the only one here, you realize after a moment that this, uh, fire elemental is wearing a, uh, is wearing some kind of chef's hat that is not on fire. He doesn't approve of you being in his space. Luckily, I can speak Ignan. What would you like to speak to him? Pardon me. Do you know which way is the door? I, I need to get out.
Here, back. It's back the way you came. Here, let me help you. Well, that's just rude. He plants a he plants a fist in your gut and sends you back the way you came. You both awaken in dimly lit cells. Aww. Lovely. And I would like to say that you awoke to your uh, by your completely by your own volition, except that you uh, you wake you awaken to a great shaking and a crashing noise, and then a dusty a, a dusty air and blackness. And what's in the blackness? A grew. Please no. Trying to bring everyone to this map. What's going on? Well, obviously they don't want oh, to be imprisoned. There we go. Let me know when you're both loaded. I'm all in. Loaded and sneezing again. <laughs> Excellent. I <laughs> uh, you can hear some uh you can hear some uh, uh some commotion echoing through the halls. And you can both kind of see that uh, it looks like parts of the jail have collapsed in some kind of earthquake. That's perfect timing. Why would we be in the jail whenever the jail collapses? <laughs> On the other hand, it also looks like the shaking has maybe bent your bars a bit. And with five or so minutes of effort, you guys are able to both force your way out of your cells. So I see a giant red X. Oh, where at? Actually, I think I might know what the problem is, because my Windows 10 changed my stack size settings and stuff. Oh, yes it would have. You're, uh, like Clostrin, you're going to need at least a gig. For this, uh, for this, you need to exit and duck back in. Yeah, where do I change that? Uh, it's in the launcher. Does uh, does Map Tool start straight in without using the launcher for you? I didn't use the launcher last time. I should do that. Uh, did you use the batch files? Try to. It didn't work, so I went to just the jar file. Yep, that'll be why you're using the default of two fifty six megs. Uh, and I was unable to access the map tool jar whenever I... Hmm? Unable to access jar file. Just a second. I can fix it. Okay. Except I didn't fix it. Yay! 
I have uh, a batch file that I made to uh, run map tools before. It may not work if you directly run it. Uh, hold shift, right click, right click and blank space in that folder where the batch file is. Okay. And does open command window here show up? I don't know if it still will in Windows 10. It does not. Okay. Um, oh wait, does... yes, it did. It opened a different thing. Hmm. Ah, perfect. So it's open. Okay. Uh, just start typing the beginning of the name of the batch file and hit tab to autocomplete it. You might have to hit tab a few more times to cycle through other files that have the same prefix. Keeps getting unable to access the jar file, map tool, dash, whatever the version is, jar. Does it match the file name of the jar file you do have? It uh, does a dash, then an asterisk. I'll replace the asterisk. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's mm. not, uh, it, it's, it's not, uh, completing that. Replace the, uh, re put in the exact name of the jar file into your batch file. instead of using a star to match all jar files of that name. Now it's working. Wait, is it? Mm. Possibly. It's open. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll see how it is once it's finished loading the campaign. Yep. And if that particular asset doesn't load, just switch to the map labeled blank and then back to the jail. Now it's working. It was a picture of some rubble, looks like. And wunderbar. So uh, it would seem that uh, a few of the, uh, the a few of the walls of uh, of this jail have collapsed, revealing a natural cavern beyond. Well, it's either go through the cavern, or try and go through the jail itself, get inevitably caught by more of the city guard, and be put back in our cells. Yeah, let's go with the cavern. You are free to navigate. I, I don't know, I was, I was liking the city guard idea. Yeah, you would. <laughs> That's just rude. These, oh. these piles of rubble are navigable, but they do need to be climbed over. Okay, do you want climb checks? Oh no, you're not under duress, it's just that these are not flush with the floor, just FYI. Yes. Going for carefully climbing over these, then. It looks like the cavern extends two ways. There's a chamber over this way somewhere, and well, it looks like an area that kind of got cleared by sliding rubble over here. I assume south is to where the rest of the jail would normally be? Uh, the rest of the jail was actually off this way to the east-ish. Uh, east Okay. Well, I like going away from my cell. Mm 
As good a reason as any, I suppose. Not really sure how to tell which way is better to go down here. Know how to navigate in the city, not underground. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, you guys were you guys were uh, roughly stripped of your obvious equipment, but it was sitting outside your jail cells, just out of reach. Easiest way to organize it all. So we were able to get it back. Yes. Well, after you, Bianca. Pushy, pushy. I prefer to be a bit farther than arm's length away from anything that might be hiding in the cave. <laughs> There's... why can you guys see that? I see rocks. I, I mean the little glowy star over there. There we go. Uh, apparently I've left some of my light source objects visible. I have seen the light. Hey. All right, that should fix it. They still emit light even when they're invisible. Uh, as you guys come into this cave, you see some uh, some phos some some wrong cursor selected. Some phosphorescent uh, uh, goo at the base of uh, what looks like it's about a forty foot cliff up to a platform above, and you're currently on a uh, a somewhat sloped cavern floor below. Looks like that earthquake might have loosened some scree to fall down, uh, fall down into this cavern. And you can also hear sort of scrabbles and growls echoing around up ahead, like there's some wild animals here. From what you recall of the jail, it is near the city walls, but it shouldn't go under them. And here I am without a grappling hook. I don't suppose you have a grappling hook. You mean that thing I really should have bought? No. No, I, I don't have one. Put it all on beer. Well, beer was important. And then it got us in jail. Well, they shouldn't have spilled it down my shirt. I'm pretty sure you did that. Well, sure, after they hit me. <laughs> you mean after you hit them first? As usual. Look, do you want to talk all day here, or do you want to actually get moving? You could talk and move, can't you? If only under protest, apparently. Grumble, grumble. I don't think I'm climbing this. You come out into the, uh, the open chamber, and you can see some movement off to the uh, off to the north. Looks like a, it looks like a, a small family of badgers is digging at the wall. Maybe they uh, maybe the earthquake collapsed. Their, uh, their, their, their hidey hole or their way back to the surface or something. I'm going to assume the badgers didn't go us cave. It'd be impressive if they did. Also, it occurs to me they should be that size. There we go. I'm sneezing all the time right now, it's kind of annoying. I have my bouts in the early mornings. Well... Assuming we're not about to get charged by the local wildlife... They don't seem to care about you yet. Is there anything here we can climb? Uh... 
This particular patch of cliff looks pretty hostile. Well, at least it's not falling on me. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. It is. It is hostile, not malignant. Uh, hmm. Bianca, do you have rope or anything useful? No, oh, of course I have rope. What? Do you not have rope? No. Hmm. Well, let's look for anything we can tie a rope around at the top of this. Could always use one of those badgers. Somehow, I think they disagree with claws and teeth and other such things. Well, there is a column here that appears to reach the rest of the way to the ceiling. And there are some... Uh, it, it does look like the, uh, the, the roof... Uh, the roof over this half of the chamber is undisturbed. It does have uh, stalactites hanging from it. Like, undisturbed by the earthquake. Well... Could try... Uh, well, actually, how long of a rope do you have? You know, the fighter's kit doesn't actually say... <laughs> It says a rope. That's not helpful. It's probably the standard 50 foot. Yeah, probably. How high up is this? 40, I think. Uh, but it's about 40 feet to the ledge, yeah. Mm. How high can you jump? Well, not 40 feet. Okay, jump 30. I think you can jump like 5. Dude, it's not trying hard enough. <laughs> You get an acrobatics, come on. <laughs> and you have so, to manage one vertical foot that for way. every four in your roll. Yeah, that's not happening. Though, hmm. Well, I do have this nail, but I don't think it'd be enough. I think we're just going to have to try climbing it. Um, well, so, uh, which one of us is better off on that? Well, one of you's got a minus one, the other's got a minus two. I'll let you guys <laughs> do the process of elimination. <laughs> oh, this is going to end in tears. Okay. We're not climbing people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Is there any part of this that looks less impossible to climb? Not from where you're standing. About over here, we've got another wall. To maybe put your back against, I guess. Actually, it looks like there is a sort of a slope over here. Well, there we go. Uh, is this a way to walk up, or at least arduously climb? One of the badgers turns and growls at you, backing away from the badger. Up the slope. As best possible. Sure. Roll me a climb, because it is a bit steep. No d20, not a d230. That'd be a neat trick. you probably make it, though. Especially if I rolled a 1 on that d320. You managed to keep your footing for the moment. The badger keeps its teeth bared and growls at you. You know, I've only got so much black powder left that I don't really feel like shooting a badger with it. Bianca, come put your sword between me and this thing. Such a way with animals. Look, I can talk to the wind and make it do what I want. Animals don't like that. At your approach, another badger comes over and they both start growling and huffing at you. They apparently don't like you, either. 
I'm going to try and climb a bit higher. Go for it. You manage another little bit. This appears to be a way up, by the way. Yep, slope goes the rest of the way up. Continue eyeing the badgers suspiciously. Come on, they're badgers. Oh, yeah. you don't step in their hole. Yeah, just don't badger them, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. The puns. <laughs> yes! That is that is great. Good climb you check. You slide down the slope and splat on your face. Okay, uh, okay Bianca, I know you were drinking, but... The badgers take this as a hostile act. Yep. Oh boy. What did I just say about not wanting to use the powder I've got on badgers? <laughs> Bianca, you you managed to uh, still manage to uh, get the uh, get the, uh, the 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 first action before they jump in at you. Mm. Also, you have a typo in her name. Bianco. Oh, Bianco. Sorry, Bianca. Could be the male version of Bianca, but uh, her cleavage kind of offsets that idea. Hey, it's a magical world. Offsets it nothing, it cuts it clean in two. Well, I think standing up is, you know, the first step. Quite literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Shut up. scrabble to your feet. And... Setting up a move action? Hmm? That's a move. Yeah, unless I want to spend uh, Panache and then it's a swift. Your call. Um, I think I'll just draw because I don't really want to close anyway. No, alrighty. Can't you well, move and draw in the same action because you have BAB plus one? Well, I can't stand up and draw in the same action. Mm -hmm. mm. A uh, moving is not the same as a move action. Right, but I mean, like, you could use your standard for another move, can't you? Sure, but where am I going to go towards them? You could try and climb. Hmm? Or five step back to where you were. You know, down south. I think right here is the least chance of them surrounding me horribly. <laughs> I suppose. So yeah, she'll, she'll stay there. Alright, and what is she drawing? Oh, definitely the rapier. It's her go-to. Roger that. You know, if you started a bar fight over beer getting down your shirt, what are you going to do about badger blood? I'm just not going to let it touch me. One of the badgers comes racing around the corner, snarls at you. This one leaps forward and tries to sink its teeth into you. Any success? No, she has an AC of 21. Impressive. Yes. It will see if its, uh, if it's nasty dirt-digging claws have any better effect. Oh, that looks like one did. Now, do I want to do anything about this? Oh, never mind. I have to do that before the attack roll's made. Ignore this. I beg pardon? Oh, I was looking at parry and repose, and I have to do it before the attack roll is made, so... Oh, okay. So you're getting clawed. Yes, she'll be taking three points of damage. And the badger behind him sort of dances through and tries to get into position in front of you. Do you take a, a 
You have an opportunity for one AOO. I will take it. Go for it. For certain. That hits. I assume they're not immune to precision damage, just randomly. Good lord, no. Those would be pretty scary badgers. Oh, do I have to keep it separate just in... No, wait, that didn't crit. Yeah, so never mind, I can just add it in. Okay. Oof. Max damage. Why not? And it tries to give you a bite for your trouble. It does horribly at it. Cerule! Now, uh... you, you are on this steep slope. You can go down it without any, without, uh, any difficulties, so long as you succeed on the climb check. Going up it, however, will require fall round actions. Let's go down. For now, then. I have a feeling there's more than two badgers. Mm hmm. Maybe. Oh, can you see more? You could You could ask. Nah. Well, okay. But, uh, Cerule will be tempting to climb down because it is not a precise shot, so attacking something that's not next to Bianca is the best idea. Roger that. So, climb check. Bullets just start whizzing past her ear. I'm rolling consistently well, at least. Alright, you can safely move 5 or 10 feet down the slope. Mm. 5 feet as a 5-foot a step, if you like, but more only as move actions. Move action, then. There's a badger. I'll draw my gun as part of that move action. Okay. And here comes the part where I've never used a gun before. At least me, rule of shot things, but it is level 3. Yep. Roll a d20 and hope you don't hit the, uh, the, the misfire range. What is the Which misfire is, range it's just on a your one. pistol? Excellent. It's just rolling a 1, so, you know, not a huge thing that's going to happen all the and time. And then the roll, the 1, right now. Let's go. Possible, technically. On demand, even. Let's see. No. No, there's no. two ones. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, attack. who were you targeting, by the way? Number 50. Number 50. Roll your damage. Right, I don't add anything to that at all. It's just 1d8. Because I'm hardly using my strength to hit things. Mm hmm Yeah. You know, I could have sworn I said something about black powder and badgers, and I only have so much of it. All I keep hearing is griping. Yeah, griping, you, griping, you, got some, griping, griping, you got some badger griping. claws on you there. Bianca, what is your response? Well, let's just start with a backhand to my ally, and then... No. Um... Well... Yeah. Let's go for... That's an attack on Dire Badger 55. That scores deeply. You wound it grievously, however, it is still up. It, uh... Yeah, never mind that. Never mind the skull. Yeah. Sorry, it says the macro assumes that uh, creatures don't have ferocity. Fun. It's a badger, of course it has ferocity. Um, is there... 
like position where I can actually see past them here, or is that actually block sight? Hmm? What do you mean? Because it's currently gray, uh, purpled out for me, and I'm just wondering if I can actually see past oh, it or not. pardon me. Yep, didn't clear for you after you moved to that position. Okay, let's try a tumble. To attempt to get to there. Sure. You're passing through threatened areas of two creatures, so there's a... You have to beat their best CMD plus five. Do not take any AOs. Let's just see if I can do that. <laughs> I think you're good. Yep. You slip through with no problem, leaping over their backs, and they, 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 they don't even know what to do about it. Excellent. All right, that'll be my turn. Badger 46 turns and attempts to savage you again. To ill success. Badger 55 lets out a horrendous howl of rage and pain. And attempts to charge past to get behind you. What is your CMD? Uh, 17. He just barely manages it. And tries to sink into your rump with a big bite. Yeah, that hits. The fine game. One. Ow. That actually hurts. And the last, the last one down here that uh, Sarul took a pot shot at attempts to charge Sarul. Yay! Do ill effect. Thank all the lords. Sarul, there is a badger attempting to savage your ankles. He has not yet gotten through your belt, uh, through your boot buckles. Okay, what happened to the whole keeping a sword between me and them? I'm a little busy. Yeah, you jumped over them. If one bites you in the ass because your ass is now in their home, I think that's your own fault. You have the high ground. Shut up and shoot something. Uh, reloading a pistol. Ah, uh, low-level guns. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just hit him with it. Just pistol whip. Somehow I doubt that would be very effective. Might break your gun, though. A pistol whip does do d4 minus 1 damage. Plus your strength mod, obviously. So, minus more. Yes. <laughs> but hey, you're guaranteed one lethal, at least one non-lethal damage. I just realized that I'm basically traveling with Loki. Look at him. <laughs> kind of, sort of, yeah. Yeah. And it's a standard action to load a pistol. Right. Well, if you're not a gunslinger, yes. I kind of am a gunslinger. You have the amateur bit. gunslinger feat? It's part of the investigator um, archetype, the mm. steel hound. One barreled weapon, that should be a move action to reload then. Or am I thinking fifth level? One second. Make it amateur gunslinger and gunsmithing. Choose a first level deed from the Deeds class feature. Which one did you select? 
Uh, Gunslinger's Dodge. Gotcha. Ah, pardon me. Pistol Whip is a deed. Okay. So, no, you cannot. Um... Might have to drop it and pull the dagger. Oh, good. You at least brought another weapon. Of course I did. I'm not an idiot. It's just a dagger. Mm. Hey. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> up shut. <clears throat> I don't think I have any uh, random oh. things about that really help. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty much expected that uh, gunslingers take the rapid reload feat. In yeah. Order to, in order to reduce it to a move action. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, not the most combat focused character. Yep. Instead. Oh. Did I put that in? Hmm? I did not put in my uh, initiative bonus. Oops. Yeah, as long as I have a luck point, I get a plus two in initiative checks. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I got kind of the same thing. I just threw it in there. Uh, I'm just double checking really quick because I have a lot of random stuff about. I think I have like, yeah, I have two different uh, deed sources and the investigator talents. So yeah, it's, it's... Right. Let's just uh, do that. Then. I'll drop the pistol. Hopefully, it won't. Nothing will happen, but I can fix it. So you know. Hey, you're only dropping it from waist height. It can't take damage. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when the badger eats it. <laughs> that's when I have you kill it and fish it out for me. So dropping the pistol. Is there a move action to draw a weapon normally? Normally. Okay, just do that then. Um, I'm pretty sure you could only apply inspiration before. Yes. Yeah, I'll do it. Just to be safe, I will spend two points of inspiration to use it on an attack roll. Excellent. And add a 1d6 to my attack roll. I'll roll the 1d6 first. Adding 6 to my attack roll. Well, here's hoping you hit. I'm going to be really annoyed if I don't. And this is to plus 1. Which is why I did that. Of course. Turns it into a 10. Which probably still doesn't hit. Uh, a uh, 10 versus AC? Mm-hmm. Does not. Yeah. That's it then. <laughs> you failed. Your your dagger fails to find purchase on the rough hide of this badger's back. <laughs> Bianca, your teammate is attempting to engage in uh, in in edged weapon play. Yeah, I've seen that before. That yeah. Well, if I had a chance to reload my gun, maybe. Can't hear you. Busy. Stab them to death and get over here. That's like a five foot. Already? Where are you going? And I'm gonna stab this badger again, because screw this. Sure. That hits. And let's see here. It's con score is... All right, your sword open opens up the badger's side the rest of the way, and it collapses in a heap dead on the floor. Hooray.
the badger with a uh, uh, with a uh, a few ineffective dagger marks and a uh, and a single bullet wound turns and disappears off into the darkness yipping uh Sarul, do you want to try and make an attack of opportunity on that? Nope. Okay. And Badger 46 looks between the two of you and leaps up attempting to get Sarul by the knees. Yeah, those first two hit. That's a grand total of, what, 13? Uh, yes. Ow. How do you defend yourself? A good question. Scream bloody murder? Scream like a little girl? Rude. All of you rude. Just, they're options. Uh, going to climb. Sure. Roll me a climb check. Gonna use a luck point. Mm-hmm. Two. Bad 1d6 to climb. Mm. Okay. Our deeds are very similar. I have a lot of deeds. How many luck points do I have, actually? I think two. Two. Helpful. Mm. It could make the difference. Makes it into a twelve. Yep. You scrabble a short ways up the slope. I assume that was a full round action. <laughs> yes, it was. And the badger attempts to get a parting bite at your ankles. I have an AC of 16. I forget that's a pass or fail. Uh, equal passes. But I'm nearly dead. From badgers. They're vicious badgers. They are, in fact, dire. Yeah, I'm at three hit points. I have been uh, that. <laughs> Bianca. Come stab this thing. I am bleeding profusely. I forget, though. Is Intimidate for humanoids only? Uh, it can work against animals. Especially if they have a little bit of wits about them. But it does raise the DC. Right. Again, bleeding profusely. Yeah, well, she's weighing her options. Does she have better chances of getting out here with the Badgers? No, she'll kind of do a battle cry yell, try to get its attention, and then uh, run up and stab it. Um, oh, okay. If this hits, I can actually intimidate to demoralize as a swift. Alrighty. Average roll is average. Okay, roll your damage. And roll your intimidate. It's twice now you've rolled max damage. Using With... all, of, all my luck. <laughs> With the damage you've put on it, it d decides that... Uh, that uh, Flight is uh, that living to see another day is the better part of valor, and it disappears off into the caverns with its uh, with its fellow. You hear its yelps disappear into the distance. Okay, ow! There is a thrin river of blood running down that slope. Ow!
you are free to navigate and other things. Like sneeze. Well, let's try to climb up next to him. Can you hand me my gun? I suppose I can pick that up. All right. It takes a little bit of time, but you guys make it to the top of the slope without further incident. I don't have any bandages left, do you? My leg kind of hurts. Back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. You know, I didn't really plan on getting in jail from a bar fight, breaking out of jail due to an earthquake, then dying to badgers. I don't think why? anyone plans their day that way. Yeah, why would you plan for any of that? Well, I can plan for the bar fight, you know, with Bianca. It's on its own schedule. Even something you could do spontaneously when the mood strikes you. Well, that's a steep ledge. Let's go over that slowly. But how about I go first? <laughs> Probably the best. Yes, the person with intact legs. And more than a thimble of blood. Uh, could I get a perception from the each of you? Sure, sure. It's gonna be hard when that's not actually private. Hmm? That just mean that we don't have the skill macro. So we'll actually see what our roles are for the perception. Oh, that's no problem. We're just winging this one anyways. So I've set up your basic attributes and your uh, and your saves, but haven't bothered with the rest. True. I believe I can do something. Yes, I can use inspiration on perception without expending use of inspiration. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, because so it's a uh... the inspiration. That is uh, one of the investigator talents I have. The one investigator talent I have. Ah, gotcha. For that oh, okay. and a few other skills. All right. And my perception normally. Makes it a grand total of 22. Um, are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, sorry. D6 rolled 4. Pardon me. Yes. Thought it was adding 6. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, uh... Don't make me doubt myself. <laughs> no worry. All right. Uh, so, 22. Uh, Cerul, uh, you notice uh, one of the, uh, one of the st uh, stalactites hanging from the ceiling just overhead start to move just a little before it suddenly plummets onto Bianca's head. Oh, boy. And it attempt... Bianca! Panic time. Something, something velvety but sticky falls on your head and, st and starts wrapping tentacles around your All head. All right, is this going to count see. as an attack roll or not? I need to know that before. <laughs> it, is, it is making a... 
Uh, a combat maneuver check is an attack roll, yes. Oh, no. Okay, this has to be a melee attack, so yeah, it, never mind. It is indeed melee. Okay. Um, it is falling onto your head. Question is whether or not she would be aware of it enough to do this. It It is catching you flat-footed. I assume this is your repose thing. Uh-huh. It doesn't say anything about this, though, which is annoying. Link me to repost. The best I can do is link you to the main page, and there's no specific link to the deed. Good enough. This is Swashbuckler. When an opponent makes a melee attack, she can spend a panache point and expend an attack of opportunity to parry it. Yes, you do have to be aware of it. Okay, uh, let's see. Only other thing is dodging. Which then just adds AC bonus, which wouldn't probably help me against this anyway. So yeah, fun. Okay, so uh, this is against your combat maneuver defense. And it fails. Uh, it still does manage to get a bite on you, if I remember, though. Um, oh, pardon. It has to make the slam first versus your flat-footed AC. That beats a 16. Oh, okay. So it does do it does manage uh, does manage to deal two damage to you. Ow! But then it falls off of your head and attempts to slither uh, attempts to slither and float off of the edge of the off the edge of the, uh, the, 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 the 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 cliff into the darkness. You could make an AOO as it uh, as it wiggles its way off the edge. I am if you spiteful. Want. I will do so. <laughs> Go for it. That hits. Exactly 11. Before it manages to wiggle off the uh, side of the cliff, you... you, uh, you, you scream in, uh, in, uh, in, in fury and... Leave it clean in twain. Bloody hells. Well, I was going to warn you, but I guess you've got it in hand. I hate this place. I'm reconsidering the jail option. <laughs> then again, odds are I'd probably trip on the way back there and crack my skull open before we even got back. So let's just keep going. Just keeping an eye out for any more stalactites that uh, aren't stalactites. Keeping such an active eye out, you spot one up ahead. Well, that's another one. It's, it, it's peacefully wrapped around a stalactite, but you spot the tentacles holding it up this time. Uh, right, before anything else, I'm going to reload. Sure. Black powder goes in, bullet goes in, you press the button and both come out and make something hurt. So we could try not walking under it. Mm. How high up is it? Uh, the bottom of the stalactite's about eight feet above your head. I could shoot it. Bianca just starts putting away her sword, taking out her longbow. Fair enough. Oh, before she does anything... 
gonna turn around and look at the corpse of the other one. Mm-hmm. What knowledge do you want for, uh, knowing what on earth this is? Uh, for an aberration, I believe that is knowledge arcana. Now I just double check. No. Okay. Knowledge Arcana, I believe, is one of the ones where I have to make it basically as a uh, untrained, but I'm allowed to make all knowledge untrained. Oh, my mistake. Aberrations is Dungeoneering. I do roll better on that. Excellent. Not so good. Uh, ah, there we go. Uh, you do recognize it as an executioner's hood. That's basically all I know. A thin, leathery creature that attempts to wrap itself around someone's head, strangle them, and begin nibbling on them from the top down. They often hide in caves on ceilings, and they're very, very slow. They can crawl maybe ten feet per round. So in other words, all we need to worry about is don't make it on your head. Still want to shoot it. I'm not stopping you. That hits. Your arrow sticks into it. It doesn't make any sort of sound as you do. And it just sits there? Yep. Well, if it's dumb enough to sit there and get hit by arrows and not move, you might as well kill it. Gladly. That hits. Solidly. This time it squeals in pain and tries to start slithering across the ceiling towards a uh, towards a, a crack in the uh, cavern roof. Yep, screw it. Aww, I miss. You uh, fire that arrow right into a uh, uh, right into the the wall, it bounces off and disappears into the darkness over the cliff behind you, and the hood disappears into the uh, into a s small like hands thickness crevasse in the ceiling. Well, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Along with two of your arrows. Shut up. Do I see a door? There is indeed a, a, a crude wooden door embedded in the passage up ahead of you. She'll swap back to her rapier, and that's, yeah, before she moves forward. And keeping an eye on the ceiling still. I don't want one of those in my head. Mm-hmm. The door is not secured shut at all. In fact, it's already ajar. And you appear to have come across a small storeroom of some sorts. If there are bandages in there, I'm calling dibs. Even Bianca is a little, you know, wondering right now. Let's roll perception and just look a little closer. <laughs> The room looks clear of anything untoward. Okay. Then the room explodes the moment I step inside. So, how is a caster level 10 fireball work again? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, and all, and all the storm. barrels are filled with gunpowder. <laughs> Helpful for me. Well, it is a... Uh, it does appear to be a, a small storage room of sorts. Someone 
Someone has a a hidden cache down here. Uh, giving a brief peruse of some of the uh, the boxes and barrels about, you find some salted meats. Uh, in a small jewelry box, you find a silver ring studded with small yellow citrines. Uh, and you find a small bag of coin. The rest is all either spoiled vegetables or clothing. Well, we could try rubbing the meat on you. I suppose I could eat some. Rather not have a... Uh... Well, if uh, the vegetable is spoiled, they must have been sitting around at least for a little bit. Yep. Well, that that's what a, a surface evaluation of the room gives you. Uh, I still can't see in. Oh, uh, that's because you were last over there. There we go. Uh, looking around at the dust. Is there a lot of dust everywhere? Um, there's some. Not it. It it, it does look a little disturbed, though. Like someone. Uh, not from us. Uh, possibly. You you don't know. Uh, you you don't know mm. if the current levels of uh, of air movement down here are indicative of normal air movement. So right. No way of knowing how old this dust is. The vegetables, however, they look at least a couple weeks old. You know, black lettuce and such. Well, as far as I know, there is no law against taking jewelry you find in a cave room. Well, I don't have any problem with it. You don't need to convince me. <laughs> yeah, well, we're only in jail. Cause of you. I think they overreacted, really. You kind of punched hard. He was at least a foot taller. I'm going to take a wild guess and say you were holding something in my hand you punched him with. Mm, can't remember. It's really hard to put a drinking mug down, you know. <laughs> Pretty sure it was empty, at least. Well, yeah, you wouldn't let any drink go to waste, would you? Just grab the... Grab anything that looks helpful. We should have that meat. So yeah, I guess we're going to pocket all this stuff. Not the vegetables. No, you can, you can do it. No, I think I'm good. But it was change the smell. <laughs> Those peaches are too far gone even for liquor. That's impressive. Not even really bad liquor? Not unless you want it to be maggot liquor. And, well, there's certain lizard folk who might... I was just going opening an undead bar. <laughs> so, what are you taking? That ring, and you said there's something else? Yeah, there is some, uh, there is some salted meats in one of those barrels. Um... Hmm... I'm going to shake the barrels, you know, that have anything in them, and hear if there's anything that sounds different than what they look like they're holding. Knowing your luck, the barrel's a mimic. <laughs> I'm going to just really hope not, because me, me and my 3 HP, we like being, you know, attached. We couldn't handle a mimic anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You give a couple of the barrels a shake, and when you come to one of the ones with spoiled vegetables in... You you don't hear a rustling like you expected, but you do hear some soft clinks. 
<sighs> Moving the vegetables. I'm sure this will smell disgusting. You dig through about a foot of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of of sticky, decayed cabbage before your hands close around something cold and smooth. Money? Let's pull it out. Bigger than money. You pull out what appears to be a potion bottle. Potion! And if you go digging, you find a second one as well. Just a flask of acid, but he just drinks it. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh, and I should roll that, uh... Neither of us are magical. I don't know, I'm pretty magical. How much beer did you spill down your front again? Hey, they spilled it. I just happened uh-huh. to be holding it. Uh huh. So there's also 46 gold in that uh, small coin purse that you found here. Uh, you have two so. potions that are identical to the bear eye, but who knows? Wizards are weird folk. Uh, and that silver ring with yellow citrines. And if you want to take some of the salted meats, feel free. I think we can leave the salted meats where they are. Nah, actually, I'll, I'll take something, I guess. Yeah, put, put I don't pocket. want those. I've got discerning tastes. Uh, um, do you use spellcraft for potions? Knowledge alchemy is the most appropriate. Well, I can make that knowledge check untrained, but it will just be a plus four. Because I can make all knowledge checks untrained. It's better than my can't check it at all. Yep. True. I'll use the inspiration on it. That's a nat 20. Okay. And is that for the inspiration? No, that the 1d6 is the inspiration. Feel free to just roll it as d20 plus d6 plus 4. Oh, you can do that? Alright. Oh yeah, you can... Uh... You can do some pretty complex stuff. Hmm. Alright, cool. In any case, that's to examine one of the potions. Okay. You study the potion, and it appears to be a... It appears to be a potion of cure moderate wounds. And without pausing, he opens it up and chugs it down. And now it appears to be empty. (laughs) Well, after he finishes it, yes, it does appear to be empty. I believe the minimum cast... Let's see here. Spell level 2. So minimum caster level for it is... 3 or 4? Uh, 3 for wizards, 4 for improvised. So, 3. Fourteen. Not full health, but close. But much better than what you were at. Yes, very much so. And uh, he'll examine the other potion, but he is kind of assuming it's just another one. Mm-hmm. So, since Bianca's Bianca, she should probably just put on the ring. The other potion appears to be a uh, to be, appears to be one of cure moderate wounds. Well, it'll either heal you or maybe it'll turn you to another badger. Let's see here. I could probably just hold on to it, honestly. Okay, you put on the ring, and 
Nothing happens at first, but after a few seconds, your skin begins to glow softly. And after a minute, you're glowing about as bright as a torch would. Nothing else seems to happen. Bianca, I get that you have, like, a sunny disposition. This is a bit much. I roll. Ah, fine. Not that useful for us anyway. She'll go ahead and take it off so not everyone in the county can see them. You grab the ring and start tugging. Oh, good. It seems to be fixed in place. Hmm. And this is why you don't put on random rings. I didn't see you doing anything about it. I was planning on selling it. We can sell it later. So when we can get it off me. Maybe we'll just have to sell your finger with it. Also, yeah. as a cursed magical trinket. Yeah, you can try. Well, I do have an adamantine baton I could try and pick it off with. Probably take most of your skin with it, though. <laughs> <sighs> just get out of here and find someone to take care of it. Let's hope it's not someone you punched in the face at that bar. Really? Well, I guess he took the punches because a wizard could. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of these days you're going to punch an actual wizard and he's going to turn you into a badger. You know, right now I think I'd take that over present company. Yeah. <sighs> you are free to navigate. Well, this is a dead end besides that. How hard is it to negate damage from a 40 foot fall? Uh, if you make an acrobatics check, you can negate 10 feet of it. How about I if... lower you down with a rope and then I take the jump? If you're you deliberately that lowers fall damage. If you're well, deliberately lowering yourself down, you always ignore the first ten feet. If you succeed on an acrobatics, you can make the you can ignore the next ten feet. And that still take twenty feet of fall damage. Yeah. Although if you really do good at the acrobatics, you could turn ten of those feet into non-lethal damage. How about we just go climb down? Yeah, that seems like a great idea. Too impatient. Just roll me one climb check each to make sure you don't completely botch the climb down. Well, one of you does. No. Ah, boom, whack, crash, crash boom, thump. <sighs> Told you I could have lowered you down. Saru, this, take this, yourself, <laughs> take yourself five. This probably still hurts less. And Bianca, you make it to the bottom without incident. Yay! Oh look, a dead badger. Yeah, he stabbed it. Nice work. There appears Damn to be badger. a metal gate here. That moves on into a uh, moves on into well paved dungeon. Well, this looks more promising. Do you want to go back into a dungeon? Sure. Well, I just mean an underground, well built structure. Hmm. It looks no less built, lo no less well built than the prison you've recently left. Well, let's is the gate open? Does it have a lock on it? It uh, does have a uh, it does have a handle and a keyhole, but without testing either, you don't know if it's currently locked. 
Let's try the handle. It rattles under your hand, but does right. not turn. I have an any tool and some disabled device skill. Okay. Oh, good. Otherwise, I'm just going to try to stab it. Yeah, let, let's not go with that. I need to stay aware of your... There we go. Okay. You have just placed your picks, uh, your, uh, your your pick against the rim of the lock, and are about to reach in when you notice a thin trip wire going going from the lock down to the floor and then to the hinge. Ah. Well then. Well, what? There's a trap. You think everything's a trap? No, it's in literally there is a trip line right here. Hmm. Do, do, do. Very do, helpful. Do, 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 do. I'll be behind now, I know, this badger. I know that disarm there was to open the lock, but since you don't know whether unlocking it has disarmed the trap, or if it will go off when you open it either way, it is your call whether you want to try to disarm it first. Um, so hang on, where does the trip line go? Uh, it's, it seems to run from the, uh, from the lock down the door and then over to the door's hinges. Possibly just to enter some mechanism in the surrounding wall or floor. Right. I know what the... Mm, mm, mm. Let's try and disarm that mechanism, then. Sure. I'm rolling again. Yep. Oh, boy. You hear a click somewhere in the stone around you, and then shooting up through, shooting up from the floor in uh, in between the stones, little tiny spikes pierce the bottom of your feet. Take two damage and roll me a reflex save, please. Are reflex saves in there for the button? Or yep, it is. Okay, and you have managed to dance your toes lightly enough that the uh, that those uh. Barbed tips do not tear up the bottom of your feet and leave you with halved speed. Ow. Kind of tempted to take that other potion already. Hmm. <sighs> so is the mechanism gone, or is it like... You have sprung it. But... Can it be sprung again? <laughs> Looking at it, you believe it needs to be reset. Cool. Let's just go for the lock, then. <laughs> Better. The lock clicks, no sharp spikes spring up into your heels, and Thanks the handle light. turns easily under your hand. Doors open. Come step on some spikes so you can know my pain. Gee, someone's cranky today. I've been mauled by a badger, I've been put in jail because you punched someone in the face because you spilled your own damn drink, and now I've been stabbed by floor spikes. I, I thought your people were supposed to be inquisitive. This is an adventure. I can be grumpy about it, okay? <laughs> Especially when I'm in pain. After you. Though I probably should be going first because I have a trap finding. Alright, making perception checks for traps. 
Because, uh, yeah. There doesn't seem to be anything obviously trapped other than what you've put behind you. But then again, you are just looking at 30 feet of hallway that takes a left turn at bad. Yeah, we can at least Forward. go to the turn. Well, yeah, all right, there you go. You make your way up to the corner, and you see a room that seems to be lit by an even yellow light from somewhere up ahead. As opposed to the yellow light from me. Yes. You're on fire. I like fire. Let's avoid actually setting anything on fire. Mm. I still can't see. Uh, you seem to be in a chamber that has a sort of barred jail cell over here, although it has a nice cozy hearth in it, which appears to be providing the light. Uh, and there's a few steps down to a well over here, and apparently some other room off to the side. There you go, there's your fire. You can go sit by it. Have fun. She's going to pause and kind of listen, see if she can hear anything strange. Uh, the only strange thing you hear is no crackling and snapping of logs as though something's burning in that uh, fireplace. Hmm. Uh, hang on a second, would you? Let's just do a quick look around. I can handle your normal trap finding, but yep, if you just want to stand there and study. Just, you know, perception. Pulls yep. out a book. Yep, the same evaluation. There's. Mm. So you get to do that whenever you want, huh? So what are these jars here? Hmm? Right next to us. Uh, they appear to be ancient chamber pots. Lovely. By ancient, I mean it's been at least ten years since they were cleaned, but also ten years since they were used. The bugs have long since devoured everything inside and moved on. Probably still, still, still don't smell all that rosy. No, they don't. So, I guess this is a high-security prison cell? Well, you guys weren't awake when you were thrown into the jail, so you don't know if there used to be a deliberate passage back this way, just that there is one through natural caverns now. On the other hand, there is a double door over here. I want to see the fire. Oh, I forgot to drop something in there. Just a second. Of course you want to see the fire. Of course you do. Hey, it's cold down here. I don't think you can be cold. I can be cold. There we go. Inside that, uh, inside that uh, cell, which appears to be girded by solid gold bars, uh, you can see that there is actually a sunrod sitting in that fireplace, providing constant and soundless, but also smokeless illumination. 
There's a skeleton laying on ancient fur blankets, and there's a small chest sitting in the corner. Hmm. We should see if we can get inside there. With the skeleton. What, you think it's going to rise up and attack you? Very possibly. Looks like just a skeleton. They all look like skeletons. I don't need skeletons to get up and try to eat your arm or whatever's closest. Come on, just get to it. You don't see any sort of obvious door or locking mechanism on these bars into the cell. It's mm. possible that the bars lift into the ceiling or drop into the floor or something, though. There is another door. We could check where that is. I also seem to have some things on the map I can't see. Yeah, okay. Keep forgetting, I have to select you guys before I can hit control I to reveal vision. Well, mm. let's check out the area before we open any doors, make sure there's nothing else here. This is just a uh, well? Yeah, a few steps down. Tall steps, like three feet, but just steps down and a well here. Hmm. Hmm. Um, really ch quick. Hmm? Yep. You said that those chamber pots were at least, like, ten years? Yeah, your best guess. And solid gold bars. Yes. Actually, like, scratch at one. Is it actually solid gold, or is it gold leaf? Make a will save. Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> You feel some weird, tenuous force try and take hold of you. And then it does. You really? find yourself Shit. scratching at the backside of the gold bars, looking out. Well, I deserve that. <clears throat> okay, now we really need to find the way out of this thing. Hi! What are you doing? Don't touch the bars. Okay. I was checking if they were actually solid gold or not. Which, by the way, are they? They felt like it. Hmm. Well, while you're in there, check out that chest. <sighs> yeah, fine. You notice that the bed is actually uh, sitting, it, it is missing one of its feet. So it's sitting at a tilted angle. Huh. And you notice this only because you need to kneel right beside the bed in order to get at the chest. Inside the chest, you find a, 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 simple, uh, a simple knife and... What at first glance just looks like a twig, but you realize it's been whittled down into the shape of a wand. And it looks about the same length as that bed leg that's been knocked off of the bed. Hmm. That's interesting. What do I do to identify a wand if I don't have to detect magic? I'm assuming I can. Uh, you can. Uh, you don't need to detect magic, although it helps. Because you can use... Is it gone? Let's see here it is. Uh, Yes, there we go. Materials manufactured by magic. You can use Knowledge Arcana. And not Spellcraft. Okay. Well, 
Well, no point not to roll it. The question is whether I use inspiration or not. Still only a plus four, probably should. I'm at three currently. Yeah, to use spellcraft to identify it, you all you need to be able to cast or at least have detect magic on you. I'll try to just identify it normally. Of course. Well, using inspiration wouldn't have helped anyway, most likely. It appears to be a wand of unknown purpose or design. Well, last ditch resort to try and use it. You could Let's always try to activate blindly, yes. I'll be over here. Yeah, let's look at everything else first. Hmm. Just, uh, because I kick myself for not trying the simple solution, let's poke the bars. Nothing seems to happen. Hmm. Can I reach in and grab that sunrod? Oh yeah, it's just sitting at the back of the fireplace. Alright, let's grab the sunrod. You now have a sunrod. Let's poke the sunrod to the bars. Nothing seems to happen. The sunrod might be redundant, considering the company you now keep. Partially, yeah. Let's look at the skeleton. Guy made a wand and didn't use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, he's... He apparently died in his sleep. Content that he'd use that wand tomorrow. Or they used it that didn't work, or it's simply different. Well, those two casks at the foot of the bed were once... Uh, appear to once have been filled with water, but no more. Uh, hmm. uh, Bianca, you want to go look? You could find a lever or something. All right. No, well, don't go anywhere. Helpful. You Is find under a... the. Hmm? Go ahead. Anything under the bed? Roll me a search check. Bianca, in this corner of the uh, of the of this jail, you find some casks of badly decayed foods. Something in here might have once been an apple from the smell of it, but now it's more related to scumble. Um there's a couple more ancient chamber pots. Not Terribly much here. And in fact, that sewer there appears to be blocked by rubble just a few feet down. Mm. Anything inside this cabinet? Just uh, just some um, clay plates and such like utensils for the imprisoned. So not much. Sarul, so looking around under the bed, you don't find uh, you don't find terribly much but kneeling there you do feel a bump in that uh, carpet that you're kneeling on okay let's roll up the carpet as best as possible underneath it you find a uh, a, a quill pen with a dark red stained tip but as you're rolling it up you notice that his, the the, uh, the imprisoned seems to have written on the underside of his carpet. Oh, lovely. Is it in a text I can understand? That's a good question. What languages do you speak? Common, Auron, Dwarven, Elven, Gnome, and Halfling. Perfect. You reckon Elven. All right. It's, uh... It's a long list of uh, of of like spell components. 
There's 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 a whole bunch that have been written down and then crossed out and written down and then crossed out. And all that's left at the very bottom is sesame seeds. And it hasn't been scratched out. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bianca? What? You're not, by chance, carrying sesame seeds around, are you? Why would I be carrying sesame seeds? Why would you blame pouring your own drink down someone else? Well, you let off on this already. <laughs> you got us in prison. No, you just got yourself imprisoned. We are currently out. <laughs> what yeah. foods are you guys carrying? And Besides that, kits? meat? Nothing. <laughs> I got trail rations. Uh, kits. I've got a gunsmith's kit and a scrivener's kit. Are you sure neither of those has any food? They are not the uh, all-purpose kits. Oh, okay. There's a gunsmith's kit for, you know, repairing... Right, yep. And Scrivener's just writing stuff. Okay. Uh, and... Has some uh, that salted meat. Hmm. Uh, Bianca, what, uh, what sort of foodstuffs are you carrying? I think um, you said trail just, rations? Yep, just came with the fighter's kit that I grabbed at the last second. Hmm, okay. Well, there appears to be some compacted nut bars among those. Well, it might work. Hmm. I don't exactly know what the point of having sesame seeds are, but uh, this guy wrote down a whole bunch of things and didn't cross that one out, so... So how wide are the bars? Uh, they're about uh, half foot spaced. Just try and throw I'm it. gonna toss one through. I don't yeah. want to touch these things. You toss a uh, you, you you toss a trail ration through the bars. Sesame seeds, huh? Looking for sesame seeds. So the question is, uh, what perception for looking through it, or something else to identify sesame seeds? Well, I would like you to roll your choice of knowledge nature or craft cooking in order to identify what seeds are sesame seeds. Knowledge nature it is. You break the trail ration apart, spreading it out on the floor and after about ten minutes, you've picked out a small pinch of sesame seeds from the bar. I I assume there's nothing else written on the carpet. Nothing else written, no. Anything Not drawn? Um... You specified written, so... Yes. Now that you look at it, you suppose that that over there isn't just a random pair of lines maybe that's well that that could be a crude wand okay hmm should i put the wand there so it's just the lines like symbolizing a wand yeah there's there's just a pair of uh, just a pair of a uh, like a really narrow triangle up in the corner of it that you suppose could be wand like so do i try and use the wand on the sesame seeds roll me a knowledge arcana uh, yeah okay i'll use an inspiration on this one yep That's rude. You're right. He's already. Ugh. Hmm. 
wasn't a one. Yeah, but it, uh, it, and it, a it two not... inspiration. Well, it ins you, you, you suddenly think that it, these are all spell components. Maybe he needed something to finish the wand, but you've no idea what spells might use sesame seeds. You do know that you have to, you know, sort of incorporate uh, spell components into a wand in order to make a functioning wand. Okay, um, let's take a look at the wand. Are there any, like, divots in it? Well, there's the cracks in the wood. All right, let's stick some sesame seeds in those, as much as I can fit. Bianca will continue to stare and wonder what the heck he is doing. You stuff the sesame seeds into the cracks in the wood, and as you do, the wood heals over, closing those cracks. That does appear to have worked. Okay. I you have no way of confirming, but you suspect you have put the finishing touches on a wand. That it was almost done. And now I have to use it blindly. Well, no one said it was going to be easy. Wondering if I should drink this potion first. I don't need this wand blowing up in my face and tearing my face off. Well, if this does blow up, I'm not sure that you'll be able to save much face anyways. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, Bianca... Uh... You should go get behind the pillar or something. Why? So you can keep playing with your stick. This stick is a wand. It's magic, but I don't know what it will do. Uh-huh. That's what the last guy told me. No, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> and on that note, yes, you will leave. <laughs> Let's stand in the middle of the room, point the wand kind of in the general direction of the gold bars, hoping that it affects them and not me. Maybe. And how do you use a wand? I don't think I've ever actually used a wand as a non-spellcasting character before. Start saying well, Harry Potter command words and see what happens. Avada Kedavra! Well, a wand is a spell completion item, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's a spell trigger item. So, uh, because you don't know what the spell is, you are simply attempting to activate blindly. So, you need to roll a use magic device check. Okay. Which is charisma based if you don't have any ranks in it. This is correct. I do at least have a plus two charisma. If you fail by ten or more, you suffer a mishap. Which does not sound good. The DC is 25. Oh boy. Just a nice fixed DC. That's nearly impossible then. But not completely? I would have to roll like a 6 on inspiration as well, to a, as a 20 on the normal d20. Okay. Man. Do you do you have a minus one charisma? Modifier? No, I plus two. Okay. So yeah, uh, you. Uh... I almost took a trait so I could have use magic devices as a class skill. <laughs> oh well. You could always ask if Bianca has a uh, has thinks she can op use a wand better than you, or you could give it a try first and not give her the opportunity to ridicule you. Mishaps don't sound good. In any way, shape, or form. And I don't think I could actually hit a 25 anyway. I mean, I got a plus 3 from Charisma, but... Why didn't I listen when they told me to become a wizard?
The Gondwan Academy learned how to bend time and space. I'm here with the wand made out of sesame seeds. You should have something to eat. Helpful. Uh, Jesus. What can I do? Well, I could keep exploring to find some alternative methods. Yeah, you, you keep looking, and I'll think about it if there's anything else I can do. Here. You know, I'm pretty sure I can possibly get into more trouble going for that door. Probably. <laughs> well, I guess I'll leave you mulling over your fate. You shut up. And examine the door. The door doesn't appear to have any sort of locking mechanism. Well, let's just open it then. You push on it, and it doesn't open, but you hear the sort of jangling of chains on the far side. Hmm. It does seem to open away from you, though, from the absence of hinges on this side. Well... What would I have to do to break open... Let's presume this is a wooden door, but... It does look a, a little reinforced. Hmm... Start beating on it with my warhammer. Right. Well, I can't get through there too easily right now. Let's go look at the well, I guess. Sure. You can safely step up and down those uh, ledges there. It's three feet, but it's, you know, mountable. Right. Uh, the well water, it looks a little stale, but it does look clean. There's no bucket or anything. The water's only, like, two or three feet below the rim of the well. Zerul, mm. are you still contemplating your doom? Contemplating if there's anything else I can try to do? I do have gunpowder. Mm-hmm. It's not a whole lot, though. I wish I'd bought more. Do the gold bars extend into both the ceiling and the floor? They appear to. Well, I've like got... you don't know how far into the ceiling and floor, but... Can I try and examine them with knowledge engineering and figure that out? Mm. Not really. You could make an educated mm. guess about how deep into the floor and ceiling they'd go, but mm. the only way you could find out is to start busting into the floor. Uh, Bianca, can you check the well? Does it go straight down? I guess she'll peer over and look into the water. The water reflects your bright, shining countenance. Damn it. Little bit of problem. I know you love to look at your own face, but you could just stick your head in it. <laughs> Begrudgingly, she'll do so. <laughs> Okay. You lean over the uh, the well. Have to 
bend at the waist with your waist right on the rim in order to get your head down to it. And dunk your head. It seems to be only about two, three feet deep, and there's a little, uh, there's a little, um, like a, a pipe that leads into it. Apparently, it's fed from an outside source. <sighs> Pulls her head out, yells back. Yeah, it's not deep at all. Some kind of pipe. Where does it go? I presume she'd have some idea of where the pipe direction was. North. As you shake your head, uh, as you shake your head dry, you, like, get it out of your hair and wipe your face off. Make me a will save as yeah. you get some of it on your face and lips. Okay. That, no. <laughs> I'm gonna use something on this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use Charmed Life. Um, um, immediate action before attempting a saving throw, I can add my Charisma modifier to the result of the save. Of course. So, adding plus three. Okay. To my mighty will save of one. <laughs> You rolled pretty well. There's an odd taste to the water, but you just spit and clear it. Ugh, water tastes foul. Weird. Then don't well, drink there, it. There was only one pipe feeding it. Someone made me stick my head in it. I didn't say drink it. Uh, look, this other door is barred by some sort of change. You got anything I can get through it with? Uh, suppose I got some black powder, but I'd rather not give it to you. Hmm, fire. That, that's kind of why I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> ah, you're just no fun. Uh, you have any ideas of how to get out of there yet? Beyond trying to blindly use this magical implement that could just blow me up? Would you rather become the next skeleton? Suppose not. The bed is not a bunk bed. Yeah, he's kind of taking Every, up all the a space. Bunk bed. There's a floor. <laughs> oh, they got two inspiration left. Let's use one of them. Let's go ahead and get over here again. <laughs> Let's Oop. try and use this thing, I guess. Do I have anything I could do for this thing? Does he have a hero point to spend? You guys should have one each. Can it help? In that this? case, what can I use for that? Well, you can use it for a reroll. You can use it to add eight to your check if you use it before you throw the dice, or four if you use it after you throw the dice. I'm going to use it before and add eight and hope for the best. Okay. I'd Feel stack to roll everything your... you can on it. Yep. And I'll just add it into the equation. Yep. Damn it. Of course I roll a two. Of course. Well, you didn't fail by more than ten. True. The wand swishes through the air, and you mutter every magic word you can think of, and nothing seems to happen. I'm gonna go clonk my head against the bars. They briefly resonate.
Bianca, come here. What now? Here, you try. And he will give her the wand. Unfortunately, I can't do your bit with the bonus to it. I can take the hero point bonus, but... Just roll really well, would you please? Also, you should probably back up. Well, if you claim it plus eight bonus, then you could, you know, you get a whole, uh, uh, you only need to get a 17. Yeah, that's all. Hey, it's a whole 20% chance. With our luck, it'll only work properly on that side of the bars. I would not be surprised in the least. Or it's a polymorph right. effect, and it turns you into a rat. Now she's looking at the wand. I, I don't really want to do this anymore. We just use the damn stick. Oh, sure, now it's a stick. It's always been a stick. It just happens to be a magic stick. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Yep, that's about right. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to keep uh, either of you from trying again. Yeah, it just becomes even less likely. Well, we need a 25, right? It is technically possible for me to do it. The highest I can get is a 23. Checking something. I'm a dumb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could use inspiration on knowledge linguistic to spellcraft without expending use of inspiration. So I should have been using it on those knowledge checks. Well, you could certainly try it again and see if inspiration strikes this time. If Here. it's a change of circumstance, you can try the knowledge check again. Give me the wand. Alright, passing it through. Knowledge Arcana makes for a grand total of d20 plus 4 plus d6. Double check in here. Okay. You look. Uh, you look to the, uh, the 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 list of uh, of spell components that this uh, that this poor unfortunate soul was going through, and it occurs to you that they are all either transmutation teleportation and with that in mind you, you start to you start to narrow it down and you are pretty sure that what you have just constructed is a wand of passwall uh. and with that knowledge it should be easier to activate the wand because you know the uh, you, you know you, you at least know the right sort of way to swing it Even if you might muck up the pronunciation. Um, on that note. Yes. What what does the bed look like, really quick? Uh, it is a simple cot, wood frame. Okay, so there's no 
back to it or anything that covers up the wall. Oh, no, there's there's no headboard. So I can tell it's just stone wall here. Yep, all the way around. I'm going to touch it anyway. Shaped stone, but stone nevertheless. Uh, the wall feels solid under your fingers. Yeah, the password was only an hour per level, but you never know something goes screwy. Well, this is probably where I should do it, because it does... There is a room over there, right? Looking to Bianca. Yeah. She still doesn't really know what you're doing, so yeah, why? I'm going to continue trying to use the magic stick. Da. Let's see here. Is it failed by more than ten? Uh, nope, ten or more. Oh, great. So, how are you doing for HP? I'm at ten. Probably the wand, zero. The wand pulses and crackles and burns your arm. And I'm dead. No, you're just unconscious. Which is basically the same as dead in this circumstance. Uh, not technically. You fall over unconscious. Bianca. The wand spurts f flame and sparkles. And, uh, and, uh, Cerul falls over, twitching. I had an idea of what could happen, but it's still impossible, I think. Because the rule did not say what the wand was. Oh. Great. Which means uh, Bianca still has 25 DC. <sighs> Which does make it actually impossible, I think. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm playing the character, what do you want? Uh, and this is where their adventure is going to end, basically. So tell me, do you still have that second uh, potion? Yeah. Rule has it. He does, so I guess yeah. I'm going to force feed him a potion. Mm hmm. I really don't want to do this. And she'll reach out and touch the damn bars. In the space of an eye blink, you find yourself standing on the other side of the bars, holding them. <clears throat> Kneel over Cerul, dig through his stuff, take all his coins. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, give him a healing potion. You force feed him the healing potion. Reclaim yourself 16 hit points. Hooray! So can I aid other with this? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Damn it. <laughs> this is one of the skills you explicitly cannot. <laughs> You're not a murloc. Wake up. Get, get off. <laughs> that hurt. Yeah. What'd you do? It's a wand of pass wall. It makes holes in walls, basically. Are you a wall now? It didn't work properly, alright? Now, I have to try it again. Said Izzizix when I should have said Zizzizig. <laughs> Without any further ado, he's gonna point at the wall again. And this time I'll use the inspiration. It's my last okay. one. But we're kind of in trouble. You wave the wand, and nothing seems to happen. Great. I'll poke it at the wall, just in case. 
your hand goes easily into the wall. Okay! Walking through the wall. You stride confidently through. Over a seven foot drop. Roll me a reflex. Alright. You land on your feet. Alright, walk through the wall. He's a bastard, isn't he? <laughs> Find the gap. Just walk through the wall. On the plus side, she actually at least remembers there's a drop. She's mm -hmm. been there. So she'll be expecting to drop down. If it doesn't work, then oh well. Yep. Knowing there's a drop, you carefully tread forward, and you stumble a little as you discover the end of the past wall, but you arrive on the far side. So. Not touching those bars. Oh, but it worked out so well. Shush. You know, I think I want to get out of this place. Well, try this door. I mean, could you use that thing again? Not really. It's technically <laughs> possible. Well, also, just as likely it'll kill me. I mean, you know the word now, don't you? Not quite how that works. This is why I prefer swordplay. Yeah, I'm still not giving you any black powder either. Hmm. So here's the question. Do we care about what's behind this door, or do we care about getting out of here? Why do you think they're not one and the same? Because they're right next to a prison cell? They had to get to here somehow, and I doubt they came through the other cavern. They could have. Now that I think about it, actually, let me check something. I need to check the specifics of his skill. Mm hmm. I need to reload map tools because I just somehow did something. What'd you do? Um, you know how the resizing window bar that frames the windows? I've got one now in the middle of my screen for no reason. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't know how it got there. Okay, so, uh... I'm going to try and roll knowledge local for any rumors about the prison. Okay. I can roll inspiration for free on this, so doing it. Mm hmm. And still didn't roll that well. Oof. Let's see. Well, you know that the prison backs against the outside walls. You don't know what sort of buildings or structures might have been outside the walls, but you think you might be underneath the walls or, you know, closer to the outside of them than the inside, if, if you're gauging the distances right, so... Hmm... If it goes out, if this, if this goes out here, it either goes up into the walls or out of the out of the city. So, uh, if we do get this door open, we're either gonna be on the walls of the city, or in them, or uh, outside the city. Either one sounds better than here. I suppose. If we have a way to get this open. Does it open at all before the chain stops it? Only like a... Only like an inch. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could just bash on the hinges and hope to do something. How thick is the sunrod? Uh, a sunrod is... I think they're supposed to be about, a, about the same... 
thickness and size as like the uh, the, the 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 grip of a two-handed sword. So it wouldn't fit through that, okay? Yeah, no. Actually, you need illumination. Just stick my hand through it. That's not what I was thinking of. Yeah, got a traveler's any tool. I can make that into a crowbar. It's a twelve-inch iron bar that you know folds and twists to make any known tool. It could be a crowbar. Sure. Should be able to fit that at least partially into there. Mm-hmm. Bianca, help me push on this. All right. Uh, I assume you have the better strength score, because I have nine. Yeah, my zero there. Plus zero. Yeah, we both have odd scores. Yeah! And I will try <laughs> to aid another. I fail. We're good at this. On the plus side, it's a crowbar. We're, we can just kind of work at this. Yeah, give me just a second. Looking up what kind of bonus a crowbar gives to you in uh, this attempt. Just get my warhammer and just start hitting it. There's three or four different pages that mention crowbars. None of them actually list or describe the details of crowbar. Um, tools, there we go. Crowbar, there we go. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> Do either of you have ultimate equipment? The PDF? Sure. I might. Because crowbar is listed in a table of tools, but it's a it's a dead link. It mm. it, it doesn't actually go to a crowbar on this page. And I'm sure it will give like a, a plus two or plus four bonus. I need yeah, to know something which it along is. those lines. Yeah, I have it. Hang on. Gear, adventuring gear. Cauldron, chain, chalk, coffin, compass. Ah, crowbar. It is a plus two circumstance bonus and strength checks made to force open a door or chest. Okay. You apply yourself to the door and do nothing but exert yourself with a fine layer of sweat. Try it again. I will oh, again also, attempt to roll other. Also, hmm. noise. You make plenty of noise. We've made quite a bit of that already. Yes. This fails again. She's taking her Warhammer out and just beating on it. <laughs> well, you roll and I'll roll assist other and hope I roll above a ten. Six. I did. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad I'm not the one more the strength checks. Uh-huh. But you do have better odds on them, even if only just... You hear creaking as you strain upon it, and then you realize that's just your arms. You're getting the impression you're not going to be able to break this door down in its current condition. Could light it on fire. Let's not do that. I will withdraw the crowbar. Uh, is there any discernible... anything on the front of this door? 
<laughs> or is it just wood from here? There is a handle to pull it closed by. There's no hinges on this side. And uh, Bianca heard chains on the far side of the door when she tried to open it. Uh... Naturally, you guys have been hearing the chains rattle more while you've been trying to pry the door open. Mm -hmm. Can we tell how thick it is? No idea. Mm. Okay. She's got to take out her warhammer. She's frustrated now. Roll your damage. Unless you're aiming for Cerul, in that case, attack roll. Tempting. He has Gunslinger's dodge. He can drop prone. <laughs> How long do you tend to keep this up? She's at least going to give it a few solid whacks to see if it's, like, doing anything. Feels like a pretty solid door, but you do put a vertical crack in the wood after a few swings. So, can we see anything through it? At all? Not that wide a crack. Mm. Stick the crowbar on the crack. Might as well. Screw it. Crowbar go in crack. Roll strength. You want me to do it? No, this should still... Better. I'll roll my sister there as usual. Mm-hmm. Hey, you get a bonus. With the two of you tugging and heaving, you eventually wrench one side of the double door off of, off of its hinges, and it clatters to the ground on the far side. Okay, so, if you're telling someone about this later, leave this whole part out. I was planning on not telling anyone, and just kind of assuming this whole thing is a fever dream. Especially the part where you're literally glowing. Well, that's just my radiant beauty. I thought it was that you put a ring on your finger without even knowing what it was. Stepping through. You appear to be back in some natural caverns, although there is a gentle slope to near nearby. Upward or downward? Upward. Upward's where I want to go. Well, why not? This is where a dragon lands in front of us and kills us. Yeah, watch the ceiling, would you? <laughs> Suspicion. You make your way up the slope and you begin to see tree roots sticking through the wall. And you can see sunlight filtering in through the uh, in between the branches of a thick thorny bramble that appears to be covering the uh, covering the cave mouth. Fire. <laughs> oh, sure. I can want fire. And now, you, what, I'm supposed to just do it whenever you want? Are you saying you don't want to set the bush on fire? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she looks been burning hands on this thing. Okay. Oh, just a second. Just realize that's much more. Right, than I was intending there. Okay. All right, let's see here. Burning hands. Actually, it's not burning hands. Since it's not like ability, it's burning anything. Fair. Burning foot. Okay. Yeah, that's just athlete's foot. Burning eye beams. <laughs> uh, what is your effective caster level? Third. The same as uh, level ah, HD. Okay. All right. Uh, roll your three D four. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I can still light things on fire. It's still fire. God damn it!
The vines roar in agony, and Ooh. a mass of them steps out. <laughs> oh, lovely. Is that a venge vine? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> oh Great. god, it's fast. Great! I take back what I said about the fire. You're not allowed to light anything on fire ever again. But is it burning? <laughs> it, uh, it, it... Well, actually, you'd need, uh... Hold on, what is this thing's creature type? Uh... Uh... Roll me a knowledge nature as a non-action before this thing attacks. Can I do it? Whoever would like to. You both see it. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. I guess I could roll int, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm consistently not rolling well on those. Yeah, let's see here. Well, no, no, that's that that's that's good enough. You recognize this as well, a monster that is equivalent to a living topiary. Great. Being attacked by plants. This day on the plus side. Better. On the plus side, this means you do know it is in fact vulnerable to fire. This does not help Bianca particularly, as it steps forward and lashes at her with its thorn-covered vines. Wait. Oh, I have 21 AC. Hmm. And it's your flat-footed, because you haven't acted yet this round. Damn it. Is it currently on fire? It is not currently on fire. Damn. There goes that racial. As burning hands. Yeah, it's one of the few spells that can actually light things on fire. Yeah, it passed its reflex, so it halved and then dub halved and then doubled again back to three damage, so. Well, that just hurts, yeah. Ow, I yeah, have nothing okay. I can do about that. Uh, 13, yeah, down to seven Jesus. health. Hey. Neither of us are in very good shape here. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Okay. But it's vulnerable to fire. If it's a living topiary, is it intelligent? Uh, what you know of living topiaries says that they're a little dumb, but they are intelligent. Hmm. Okay. But first, it is Bianca's turn. Yes. Well, she only knows one thing to do when something lunges at her. That's lunge back. Okay. That hits. All right. Uh... Oh, it's AC is thirty. Of course, it hits. Uh, yeah, no, no, it no, could we're, be. We're done at that point. <laughs> 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 Just, uh... Eleven. And your rapier is, of course, a slashing weapon, yes? No, it's pierce. Ah. 
You suspect that didn't land properly. Yeah, I'm gonna have problems here. Of course we run into something with uh, piercing resistance. Well, that's because almost everything has piercing resistance. <laughs> um... Do you have a move action? Well, I have a swift... Intimidate it! I'm gonna try. Out of our way, or we're gonna cut you down. Will be hole. burning like a quarter of a sun. Ah, uh, twenty-four versus. That's not gonna work on it in its current state. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to try and just try it. Yeah, it's supposed to be to demoral demoralize, but eh. Yep, it's a rule. I've had a thought. Is it that you just rolled a 1 on your initiative? My initiative should be higher than that anyway. Okay. Yeah, there should be a 5. Well, it's still last. Carry on. Uh... Argle, flargle, murder? Or Argle Flargle like negotiate. Let me put it this way. I have a nail, an adamantine nail, that can hold things and basically survive an explosion, and I have a powder horn full of lots of gunpowder. Mm-hmm. And we have a plant monster that doesn't like fire and presumably connected to that explosions. Stands to reason. But it takes more than one turn to set up. Yep. I can probably survive the next hit. If it I've... hits you, you're dead. Well, if it hits me, I can throw panache at this. Yeah, yeah. I can. Okay, what kind of action would it be to... Take my powder horn, I think it's called. Yep, from your belt, presumably. And, yeah. And, um, throw it through Bianca's legs to, like, just the ground where they're fighting. Well, you can do that as a, a draw and a, uh, a throw. So, both your actions. Like a move and a standard. Yeah. Uh, your pistol is still loaded, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Uh, the slope behind us, do I have to make climb checks to get up it? Nah, it's pretty shallow. Okay, so I can't just move up it. You can walk up it unhindered. Alright. Could I drop the powder horn at my feet as a single action? Yeah. Unhook her from your belt and drop it. How oh, that is the same result. Mm. I have this weird feeling this is going to end with Bianca sacrificed for your greater good. Well, I'm sure he feels a little better about her just having saved his life by stepping into a jail cell for him. Yes. Alright. Okay, take it off and try to throw it. Is that just a ranged attack? Yep. Range touch, you're just trying to target that square, so eight, the, the AC is five. I have succeeded. Your That's powder two. horn... Bounces lightly, skips between Bianca's feet, and lands uh, lands under the writhing mass of the plant monster. And that's his turn, and hopefully she'll, um, you know, move on her next turn. <laughs> the 
monster lashes at her. All right, so. Yes? Parry and repost. Spend one panache, expend attack of opportunity, attempt to parry the attack. I make an attack roll uh, as if I was making an attack of opportunity for each size category. That we're not different, so that doesn't matter. Yep. Um, I have to use it before it's announced uh, and before the attack roll is... Uh, sorry, once the attack is announced, but before the attack roll is made. And... Wait, what's the... Damn it. Hmm? Do you just have to hit it? With I'm that trying to figure out, yeah, making? if I have to hit it or... Let's see, attack rolls if you're making attack opportunity. Okay, and it has to be greater than an attacking creature's result. Okay, so it's a... It's a it's a contest of attack rolls. Yes, that is exactly what we're doing. Okay. So and hopefully go ahead and, I'll win. Yep, go ahead and roll yours. Mm. Twenty-two. And let's see here. It makes it. It has no reason not to power attack. Yes! And now I can make an immediate action um, to attack it back. Go ahead. That hits. Do you crit on 18? Oh, I do crit on 18. Mm okay. Just add another d6 and 7. Well, you have to confirm. Doesn't you? I have to confirm. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. I get plus 1 from a trait, so to confirm... Uh, 19 does still hit. All right, and then I add what to that? Uh, is it a times two or times three weapon? That I should know that. It should be a times two, though. I think just yeah, a rapier. Yeah, it doesn't say otherwise. Default's times two. Yeah, so another, times two. Another d6 plus seven and add the original eight. Twenty total. Nice. And five of it is deflected by DR, but that still leaves 15 that goes through. Very yeah, that, nice. That parry and repose is like the, one of the best parts of this class. And you do it on your enemy's turn. Yeah. And I can keep doing it because as long as I have AOOs. That's why combat reflexes is so good. Well, you can only attack once because it's immediate action. Right, but I can parry as right. many times as I want. Well, I reckon that you're going to have to do that again, because it gets two slams. Yeah, and I... let's see... You have combat reflexes, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. I'm debating between that or... No, I have a better chance this way. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. Okay. Mm. Not as good. Not as good. But you still beat it. Yeah. It managed to derp the roll. Though my AC still would have just beat it anyway. Roll your counter. Um, or is that only once per round? That's an immediate action, so... Yeah, I don't have... You only get one immediate, right? So It uses the switch no, no. for your next turn. Uh, no, immediate, immediate reactions are free. They just can only be taken when their trigger comes up. Swift actions are swift, but immediates are in response to whatever their trigger is. There's, there's no limitation on them. It's Yeah, the swift action thing is when you use immediate action on your turn. The way, yeah. You cannot use another immediate action or a swift action until after your next turn if you've used an immediate action when it is not your turn. Yeah, so I can't do that again. Where's that said? Under immediate actions in the combat section. Yeah, I guess it's between it and free. Okay. It's basically a swift when it's not your turn. I mean, when you do it on your turn, there's basically no difference between it and a swift action. Yeah, so technically I just wasted a panache, but... Oh, actually, I got that other one back because I crit. You did crit, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sitting at minus one. Still, you okay. the attack. That's all that mattered. Yep. All right. 
Ah, right. You may use an immediate action. It's not. You must be able to to yeah. make it work. Okay. So you did deflect its second blow. Excellent. Your turn. I was just getting away from it. Well, I can still hit it first. Can you? And then move. Sure. Hmm. What am I thinking of where you can't do that? Like. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, well, she can also, I can't do a full attack, but I don't have a full attack to use yet. Yeah. So hit it and run. Uh, or not hit it. <laughs> nope. Run. Yeah. Uh... Run backwards. You can take a five foot. You've already surrendered the opportunity to take a withdraw action. How big is your explosion going to be? I have no idea. How, uh, how big is that powder horn? I think it should be in pounds. You mean how much gunpowder is in it? Yep. How much is it per dose? Oh, crap. Um, mm -hmm. Give it back three health. What at? What's up? Um, my um, precise strike is like a sneak attack. It can't crit. So the plus oh, three okay. on that can't crit. Right up. Well, it's as a keg that explodes, deals 5d6 to anyone within a 20-foot burst. Mm-hmm. That is not a keg. No, it is not. We can probably presume at least half as much as a keg, like minimum no, reduction. Not even. No, I mean, not even a tenth. No, no, I'm saying, like, if I get ten feet away, I'm probably fine. Probably. It's eight. It's only eight doses of black powder in there currently. Oh, okay. So it might not even hit ten feet. I just think this is the best chance we've got. Because sooner or yeah. later, that thing will hit you. <laughs> I mean, I can five foot back, so it can't get even a chance of hitting me. Problem is, you're then standing in front of me. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, so I guess that way. Alrighty. So, rule. This is where I wish I had something to add to my attack roll. <laughs> so you're trying to shoot a powder horn is my guess yes I don't think I can add luck or grit to this in any way well it is an unmoving object sitting on the floor it is it is pretty tiny though so the AC that you need to hit is let's call it 8 on the plus side it is a gun so let's just hit it mm-hmm Um, I don't remember, though, if you need to be a gunslinger in order to target touch AC, or if that's just a standard gun thing. I think that's a standard gun thing. I can double check, though. I lean that way as well, but I haven't really looked into those rules. Mm-hmm. In, 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 in these four years of, of doing this, I've only seen one person use a gun who wasn't a gunslinger before you. Mm. And he and I both agreed that they're a little weak at low level if you don't specialize in them. Okay, as long as you're in their range increment, they can hit touch AC. Alright, what's your pistol's range increment? Uh, 20 feet. Alrighty. So I could even go get behind Bianca and be safe in that range. <laughs> Well, do it maybe after you fired, or whatever. I don't want to take the chance of having cover because I'm trying to shoot past you. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh... Quick, hide behind the person with no health. I must not hide behind myself. You've got more health than me. It's still enough to die in a single hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not much of a, not a real big difference there. Big difference to me. 
I'm just checking really quick that I can't lose this grit point at all. I don't believe I can, though. No, not really. Okay. Alright, let's just uh, leave it up to chance, then, whether we die. Of course. Really? I am honestly not surprised. Your bullet sp uh, sp uh, spangs across the floor, and the uh, the, the 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 plant the, the plant mon monster looks down and then looks back up at you in confusion. Have a move action. Checking, but probably not. Well, get behind me. Yeah, I know. I'm checking something else. Uh, I really regret uh, using burning hands already. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. did hit it with it. It's yeah, but it'd be much more useful three. now. Yeah. Since you rolled triple ones, yes. Yeah. Of course, neither of us are carrying torches. Because we'll see it in the dark. I'm a torch. <laughs> yes. Oh! That hits! <laughs> what? I didn't put in point blank shot. Plus one? No, nope, there you go. Alright, roll damage. Uh, right, okay. Doesn't point blank shot to add to that, actually? I mean, I know it adds to attack, but it doesn't add to damage, too. It does, I, yes. It does? Yeah, plus one to attack and damage rolls, uh, ranges of 30 feet. Perfect. Okay, halved, that's two, and two is enough to destroy the powder horn. And since that happens pretty violently, yes, that black powder's igniting. Yay! You said there are eight charges? Yes. Uh, okay. It is going to if it is going to fill the area quite briefly with flame, because that's a lot of it in a vessel that is well compromised to now, even if it used to be able to contain the explosion. Bianca may let out a squee of joy. <laughs> he unfortunately rolled exactly one higher than he had to in order to save himself from being set on fire. Uh. But the bushes behind him have no such benefit. They are now alight. And roll me 2d6, please. Hmm. Didn't do as much as I hoped it would, though. Well, that is with the doubling in play of vulnerable. And, um... What's going up here? The plant monster turns and... Despite the despite the flames, flees into its bushes, and the bushes begin rustling heavily. Um. Ow. 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 Oh. And as far as you can make out, it seems to be trying to shake the flaming branches out. Do I get anything to stir the flames here? That's up to you. I don't think I've got anything. That was all my gunpowder. <laughs> um... I have some flare cartridges still, I suppose.
Don't they have black powder in them actually? No, not flare the spell. Flare the thing. Well, I can start using my flint to try to set things on fire. Oh. Do you want some meat? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be super helpful. Now that you've tasted our fire and our metal, taste our gristle. He has a heart attack and dies. It seems like the alchemical, alchemical cartridges don't use black powder, they have their own stuff. Yeah, it's a prepared bundle of black powder with whatever, so I do still have those. Okay. So I could throw them into the fire, I guess. But it's Bianca's turn. Yep. I, I am trying to figure out if there's anything I can actually do here. I don't know if there really is. Go stare at the fire. Coo at it lovingly. Yes, I'll talk to it in Ignan and try to, you know, spur it forward. You can do it, little flames. You can do it. Someday you'll not be an ember, but a big roaring bonfire. Yeah, that's... yeah. Nothing? I, besides trying to get a flint and tinder and trying to light something else on fire, that that's all. Why not? Well, it takes a full round to do it, so I couldn't even walk over there. <laughs> Draw your sword. You're ready to stab the plant thing if it comes back my, out. My sword is already drawn, sir. Then have a ready to action. Sure, if it comes out, I'll ready to stab it in the... Whatever, it kind of looks like a face. Stab it in the bramble. Yeah. It's a rule. I'll draw one of my flare cartridges and throw it into the fire. It has black powder in it. Okay. Roll a throw and touch attack. It disappears into the flames. And after a moment, there is a wet pop and a very bright light from in the middle of the fire. It's probably not happy about that, since it was still a flare cartridge. Does that work when it's just been exploded, basically? Hmm. Well, briefly, no matter what. Just normally, when, it, when you fire it at all, creatures at a 20-foot burst get dazzled. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. A very angry and on-fire plant monster charges out at you. Make your uh, ready to action attack. We fire. Yeah, it's on fire now. Yeah, but I have to be the one that sets it on fire. Like, oh. it, that's for the bonus. It's very specific. You hit it. Sadly, this is probably still better damage than I could do otherwise. We are still hurting it. For now. Uh, 
Uh. And that puts you down. And probably. Well, I mean, you didn't do the repose thing. It did say that it was charging, as in the attack. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, but everything else has to be done, I think, as an attempt, not... Oh, hmm. You have a swift action if you want to try that repost. Unless it consumes a resource you're out of. I think I can use dodging panache, actually. It doesn't say you have to wait till before the attack on this one. Um, attempts a melee attack to swashbuckle, you can use immediate action and spend one panache to move five feet. Doing so grants the swashbuckle a dodge bonus equal to AC equal to their charisma modifier against the mm -hmm. trigger fight attack. Um, doesn't negate the attack, which still resolves as if they had um, not moved. Okay. And it provokes AOs from every other creature other than this one, which doesn't matter. All right. If I remember right, your charisma mods plus three. Yeah, it'll be enough to put me over so I don't die. Yep, go ahead. I cannot move. Oh, that's because you're not current in initiative. Where do you want to be? Um, that way I'm also out of his line of fire. Pointing oh, right at her there. cleavage. There, yes, that's, that's where I want to be. Right in her cleavage. <laughs> Well, if she survives, then you may yet get that. It is your turn. Well, once more with feeling. Not great. It does hit, though. Well, we Getting there. Yep. Um, Let's hope for something. I'm can... actually five foot back in front. Okay. Um, so could you move me up? Yeah, I don't want him to be able to just run at him. Sure. Um, yeah. I can load uh, chemical cartridges faster than normal, like, shot. So that's actually mm -hmm. a move action to load another flare shot in, because I have two more of them. Sure. So I'll load that, and uh, I... Actually, it does... Hmm. It's in melee range now. It was going to be in melee range regardless. Yeah, I don't have precise shot. What's the penalty? Minus four, I think. I mean, it's still touch AC. It's, I mean, it's still a harsh penalty, but we kind of need to do something. <laughs> well, I hope you can make a good fort save, because it's still a flare shot. Yeah, you're going to dazzle me, aren't you? He's going to be dazzled, too. Fort DC 15. Ew. Yeah. Go for right. it. Uh, it only deals half damage. Do you want me to roll, if it hits, do you want me to roll a d4 or a d8? Or roll a d8 and then take half? Uh, roll a d8 and then times it by 0.75 because that's the effect of halved and then plus 50%. Because it's fire. Oh, okay. Yep. Can I actually just do like x.75? Yep. Uh, times the star, not x. Okay. <laughs> Well, shooting first. Yep. And you hit it. What? <laughs> can you hit it? You can... Did you remember the minus four? No, that minus four is not put in. I only put in the point blank shot. You exactly hit it. Okay. Okay. And now damage. And isn't this within 30 feet? Yes. Put D8 plus 1 in parentheses and times that by 0.75. What did I do wrong? Do you need a 0 0.75? Was it not like a leading decimal? I didn't think you did. I guess so. There you go. Yeah, it's because the, the, the star is next to the decimal, so it's thinking it's code. Yep. Okay. 
So, six damage. Now we all get to roll fort. Yes. Yep. Everybody roll your fort saves. Okay, I'm using my charisma bonus again. <laughs> Yay. Cerule is dazzled. There's, uh... Well, I am pretty dazzling. And it gets to roll to be blinded, and if it succeeds the fort, then it's dazzled. Uh, it got a 25 on its save. So it's dazzled. Okay. And dazzled is just a minus one to attack rolls and sight based perception. Okay. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm going to repost it again if it attacks me. It intends to. Yes. You are burning down it. You're burning down its nest. Not a bad roll. Especially when it has a minus one. Okay, and then going for the attack. Yep. Kill it. When he hits. Max and, damage. Yep. Uh, minus five, that is eight. Okay. You you slash at the burning mess of, uh, of thorny vines, and it suddenly just seems to lose cohesion and collapses across the ground, crumbling to ashes. But there's starting to be a bit of a smoke problem in here. Uh, yeah. From this fire. But there's light past it, yeah? <laughs> yes, there is. Well, if we need to, there's water from a well and buckets. True. Well, chamber pots. They will work as buckets, hopefully. We're not planning to drink out of them. At least I'm not. Rude. Um. Alright, before we kind of clear out of here for a little bit to wait, I'm going to try and take a look at the plants through the fire. I'll roll Knowledge Nature on it. Like on this thing? No, no, on the bush. I want to see how long they might take to burn. It was hard to see through that this shrubbery before it was set on fire. Now it's pretty much impossible. Well, I'm not trying to see through the shrubbery. I'm trying to see the shrubbery. Okay. Like, what kind of plant is it? Blackberries. More specifically, how well do blackberry bushes burn? Slowly and quite well. So let's just clear out of here, maybe. Wait for a little bit. Once it's burned through, the smoke can ventilate to where there must be an opening, right? He says in between fierce coughs, as this whole chamber is now filling with smoke. Out we go! <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but I don't actually want to drink the, uh, who knows how old water, at least ten years before since it's been touched. Well, I have the full water skin. We can last a little while if we ration it. Yeah, we'll have to watch and see how long it takes smoke to come back through there. Well, you are downhill of all of that burning nonsense, so... True. So now we get to sit back and wait for a bit. And I guess you. periodically go up to check if it burned through yet. You lean back against the wall, partake in some of your salted sausages and your uh, and your skin of water. And after about an hour, it seems like the fire is beginning to die down out front. Well, we should take a look. And, you know, you get to look at the fire some more. Ooh, fire. Eh, I don't know if that'd get you to go first. Mm. 
surreal freedom and start running into the wilderness. I think I'll wait to see if there's any plant monsters again first. <laughs> you, uh, you, you emerge out into the sunlight and find yourself on the, uh, uh, on the slightly grassy slopes, just, uh, just look around, reckon it, yeah, just, uh, northwest of the city. You can see the city walls uh, about 40 or so feet away, and you can also hear the sounds of people moving through the bush, uh, trying to, uh, uh, trying to, trying to find the source of the fire. It seems to have damped itself out. It's only low grass that is charred around you, so you haven't set the whole forest on fire. But if any of them are town guards, well... To another city, then. Sruel, I, um... You might need to split off from me. Why? Is this because you're bleeding? I don't think they're going to miss the glowing woman walking out of here. Well, it is midday. Hmm. Regardless, we're going to start walking that direction, and you're going to shut up about this. Not really walking. Frisk jog, maybe. Running. Go. Pushy, pushy. You aim for one of the rivers uh, down below the uh, down below the city, with maybe the hope of uh, stowing away on a cargo barge, and perhaps other adventures shall strike you as the days come forth. Possibly. Hopefully, involving less dying. Well, this involved no dying, so involved in unconscious. We are not dead and nearly dying. And technically, we did kill some badgers. We had it coming. Let me kill one. One is a subset of some. <laughs> well, it, it qualifies as some. Some is not a discrete set. It tried to bite my ass. I mean, it succeeded it's not your ass. My ass is whole, thank you. No, you have bite marks on it. With little Shut badger up. teeth. Anyways. We blew up a plant monster, kind of. Didn't actually do a whole lot to it. You also burned stabbed down a, a bunch. plant monster. Yeah. Yes. You've got some executioner's hood drool on your lapel. Got yep. some coin and a ring that's cursed to make the person glow, apparently. Yep. That's what happens when you point a light spell in the wrong direction. <laughs> Uh, you unfortunately missed out on the, uh, on the Adaro nest, where you could have found some of their, uh, crude enchanted javelins and a ring that wasn't cursed, but... I guess that was down the other path we didn't take. <laughs> but that is for some other unlucky set of sods to discover if they ever find themselves in that jail. We probably would have died if we tried to do it anyway, considering how close we were to death at the end of that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... Well, also, I had to, uh, on the fly, scale this down from being made for three level three characters to two. There's a bigger gulf there than you might imagine. Yeah. Especially when we're kind of the same style of character and what we can do a little bit. A little bit. Mine's not exactly the most combat. Yeah, you, you had you had knowledge checks, which means you didn't Okay, you needed a wizard, but you managed to make do without one. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> Very close to not making do without one. Mm-hmm. Uh and Bianca managed to not get paralyzed by the water that is there specifically to help pacify prisoners. Tastes yeah, delicious. That had been unfortunate. Yeah, it only Just would have lasted for, It only would have lasted for an hour. I'm sure. Uh, I, I'm. I'm sure that. Uh, I'm sure Sarul couldn't have gotten himself killed in the meantime by 
trying to use a wand. See, so yeah, sure, nice and... go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice and clutch uh, little module that nearly killed the both of you, but in the right way. <laughs> I got to shoot a giant plant monster with a flare gun. Everything is good. <laughs> All right. My wife is just here with supper. So, I will see you guys next week for Lostrin. We're hopefully less close to death. Yeah. We're going after a dragon, so... A little. Yeah. <laughs> Not immediate death. Lindo could snap. I just really so. honestly. I think mm -hmm. he has snapped. True. All right, Fulton could snap and just uh, start stabbing everyone and start screaming about the infidels. Just don't snap a staff of the Archmagi and we'll all be fine. Or staff of power. That'd Whatever it's called in 3.5. I'm going to do that now. That sounds fun. <laughs> just do it in the dragon's lair. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Of course not. Well, actually, everything will go wrong, but in the right ways. Uh-huh. So we start with prismatic spray as a hundred foot blast. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you guys next week. Next Sounds week. Good. Night. Bye.